quiet quitting and the anti-work movement, why you'll never be successful at anything. We have in the independent insurance claims industry what we're calling a talent crisis. Why is it so hard to get people to sign up for a high paying career which, by the way, it doesn't require any kind of a college degree, associate's degree, or even a trade school certificate. You can literally get two weeks of training, get a few state licenses, and be making six figures, if not the first year, then definitely by the end of their second or third year. This is a job where somebody can work remotely in their PJs, or if they want, they can travel extensively and be involved in helping people recover from major natural disasters, the kind of things that you see on the news. A younger acquaintance of mine, person in their mid-20s, recently remarked to me that they were wanting to work remote so that they could be at home and have extra time to find their passion. To which I said, find your passion? Exactly what does that mean? To which they responded, you know, until I can find the thing I really want to do with my life. Now, if you're in your 20s and you don't have the benefit of really any life experience, let me just share something with you from a guy who spent too many years believing that all I had to do was find my passion and I would be fulfilled, happy, and rich. Finding your passion is total bull****. If you spend your life trying to find something external, like a job, a hobby, a person that you think is gonna be the key to happiness and fulfillment for you, your passion, then you will spend your life searching and most likely not ever finding. I'm sorry, but that's not a happy or a fulfilling life. Allow me to offer another perspective. Again, from a guy who tried this and failed miserably. How about this? Instead of looking outside of yourself for a thing that's going to make you happy, why not find it inside of yourself? How about instead of thinking about passion as a noun, something you gotta go find or that will magically find you while you're sitting at home playing video games or surfing, Match.com, which is that even still a thing? Think about passion as a verb. How would that work? Instead of saying, I'm trying to find my passion, we could instead say, I do fill in the blank activity with passion, which probably makes it more of an adverb. What I mean is this, when I talk about passion, I mean that I'm bringing everything that I am into everything that I do, no matter what it is mowing the yard, taking out the trash, making YouTube videos, running hail claims, being a spouse. I carry my passion inside of me and I apply it to whatever I'm doing. Now, before we go any farther, I'm a human being and I'm not always good at this. So before you jump in the comments and tear me up for being holier than thou or perfect. So for me, I'm trying to the best of my ability to do whatever it is to the best of my ability, but also with joy. Let me give you another example that might help to illustrate this idea. I'm married, happily so, but something that I've learned and that many, many married people learn is that marriage is not easy, even if you're with the most easygoing person on earth. This person that I thought was going to fulfill me and make me happy is still just a person, and it is a considerable burden to place on someone else that they are responsible for deep personal happiness and fulfillment in my life, which is why I consider the word love to be a verb, not a noun. No matter what else is going on, it's my responsibility to love my wife at all times with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength, even if on Tuesday, I'm not exactly feeling it. Doesn't matter, I act like it anyway. Believe it or not, this is the not easy part. Why? Because it's not all about me. And it's the same thing with work, especially the kind of work that we do in the catastrophe property claims industry. The people who make great money over the long haul will tell you that you have to give all of yourself to this work. You've got to think of others first. The insured agents, your team managers, the carrier, contractors, before you think of yourself. If you bring passion to this work, you will not only have an incredibly fulfilling career that will reward you financially, but with those resources, you'll be able to explore your other interests without starving your family. Just like every other industry in the US, the independent property claims industry is hurting for people willing to show up and bring their intelligence, their personality, and yes, passion, and ultimately get richly rewarded. If you're a quiet quitter, or if you've been seduced by the anti-work movement, I can only say that you're going to be left behind if you sit around and wait for the world to come to you and cater to your desires. For everybody else, 
What better time to win at life than when your competition is just plain checking out of the race? So if you enjoyed this video and you're ready to take a big step and learn how to start a different kind of career, a career in independent claims, then check out my step-by-step -step video training called The Road to the Storm at adjustertv.com slash start. This training is totally free and includes not only a complete series of training videos, but a big PDF guide that includes a ton of career resources to go along with it. Jumpstart your career right now at adjustertv.com slash start. You literally have nothing to lose. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Adjuster TV. Go big or go home. Big.